This autumn, we have witnessed the consequence of central banks misinterpreting the inflation that arised on the back of the COVID crisis. In 2021, central banks placed all bets on inflation to be only transitory. For the past year and a half, central banks have changed course and restricted monetary policy at a record pace. We have, for instance, seen the price of 30-year bonds cut by half, leading to drawdowns matching those of equities during the financial crisis in 2008. Now, looking ahead, the risk premiums on equities compared to bonds are historically low, leaving a low buffer for negative surprises in the equity market. What does this mean for CapaFlex? The short answer is not much. The return path of CapaFlex is of course not a straight line. And while we saw a high return of 5% in September, the fund has now lost 2% in October. Still, looking at performance from inception and until today, the fund has performed slightly better than the expected return path that we calculated when launching the fund. As of end October, the accumulated return net of fees is 14%, which is almost spot on versus our forecast of 13%. What happens next in the markets is everybody's guess. However, in CapaFlex, we are not trying to forecast the future. We follow a buy and hold strategy and the underlying risk premiums that we harvest in the fund are intact. Going forward, we expect the fund to return an additional 20% net of fees over the remaining lifespan of 2.1 years. This corresponds to an annualized return of 9%. In these uncertain times, it is worth noting that the risk in CapaFlex has already declined by 25% simply because the bonds are getting shorter and the fund equity is getting larger due to the accumulation of return in the fund. When CapaFlex matures in December 2025, the risk is expected to have dropped by 70% compared to the risk level at inception. You can learn more about the fund and its attractive risk-reward profile on our homepage, kappacapital.dk.